阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥。Today we'll continue on our chapter thirteen、uh, of part three, unscrupulous behavior or reckless behavior, Wu Ji Dan E. So doing things without restraint and、um, understanding the consequences. Because if we know the consequences, we will not be so reckless. But、um, as we are made of emotions, you know, we are emotional animals.、Uh, we are tend to act on our impulse at times. No exception. So this is something to remind ourselves,、um, you know, not to allow your、um, impulse running rampant amok.、Uh, a good practitioner will always use it for the servicing of, you know, something better. Not just do it for the sake of doing it. And you have that impulse, you want to use it for something useful, not. Wasting the energy on complaining or indulging in angers and hatred, <clears throat>、uh, greed or lust or anything that you know、um, that is not、uh, conducive to the betterment of your well-being. You know, in terms of、uh, not just your well-being, the well-being of people around you as well. So, in the example, this one we have mentioned already, but I'm、um, just for the sake of <coughs> completion. It talks about blaming outside elements and bearing grudge, complaining、uh, when things not going our way,、um, and、uh, it's very understandable. We have that feeling, but we cannot allow ourselves to dwell on that kind of mindset where everyone else is fault, but except ourselves. It's not going to help,、uh, no matter how unfortunate the situation is. What we can do is we can try to pace ourselves if we can. Once we get out of the storm, and you know, pace it a little bit, you know, like Uncle James just shared about the mental health and stuff like that. Everything is too、um, intense and too、um, cooped up. Then we need to find a way to release properly. You know, blaming on people on or, or any other external element is not going to help. It's going to worsen the situation. It's not easy, right? Like you can talk about all these big theories, big teachings, and high aspiration, high goals, but none of them matters when you're actually on the ground facing real problem, and you let your anger, your greed, you know, the outside element to turn you around, you know, basically sway you over, and if you can't recover, you know. That's it. That's that's one life wasted. You know, you might get, you might take a very long detour to come back. Some people can't come back. You know, some people have to wait till next life. Basically, going through this life like that, bearing, you know, unable to turn, put a break on the action that is destructive or that is negative towards their well-being, chemically, physically, mentally, and also people around them. And they have to wait till next life, and make, maybe next next life to suffer the consequences. But you know, there's always change in every、uh, moment, and we need to be acute and、uh, open for that、uh, opportunity, no matter how terrible things may be, you know, or how tiring or how exhausting things may be.、Uh, this grudge is natural, in the sense of you know we have we didn't know any better. We were annoyed. We were frustrated. But if we dwell on that kind of mindset, you will forever be overwhelmed. You will forever be frustrated. You will pass on this negative problem to another people, amplifying it. And in 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 the end, you were more miserable than you were before. Basically, you were more miserable than before because、um, we. Emphasize on it. 
dwell on it, allowing it to engulf us as consumers, right? And, uh, yeah, exaggerating this, you can say, you know, this lawsuit retaliation, basically. Um, like there's a word called revenge, it's a dish served cold, right? It's, uh, when it's done, the deed is done, you know, maybe you took a retaliation back at the person in whatever forms, it's, it's not feeling better. That release, the cathartic is only one moment and then the rest of your life, you have to bear with that hollowness in your heart because it's, it's destructive. You know, you're destroying other people, you're destroying yourself, you know. Um, so on this case, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to dwell too much because we've already been there. And then uh, this one is um, people who are close to you, right? We easily use our emotion, impulse, instead of uh, being cool-headed and actually assess the situation as um, objective as possible, as neutral as possible recover from it it's not something you can just sit down and have a tea and recover but it's just <clears throat> just answering Melinda's question uh, it's not something you suddenly oh yeah you know no it's depending on your route your own condition with that person or things or matter it it'll be better I don't know how to say it. it's something you just need to I don't know, like with this, uh, you know, listen to the teachings, understand how, uh, the reality of the situation right now, where you stand and how you, you know, um, how you mitigate it, how you manage it, you know, one step at a time, right? We talk about little steps from uh, our conversation with Venerable, a little step at a time, right? Instead of argue after a five minute conversation, maybe you can hold that conversation for 20 minutes before you argue. And then maybe one hour before I argue, maybe over the dinner before we argue. But it's always that same topic or same triggers that makes all this emotion comes up because that's basically the, the trigger point for two of you or three of you or however, we're always involved in this. Um, so yeah, like, like I, can't, I can't say that, oh, it, it's going to be solved. Just like that, no, nothing is like that. Okay, it, it accumulates, roll into a momentum, and then eventually, you know, it, it goes towards one direction or the other, and then eventually it will either you know go towards better work direction or go towards worse direction. But we have choices every moment, every conversation, every encounter, every gesture. It's a choice, you know. You can choose to smile, small smile. I mean, give a smile to them, um, or continue this cold war or whatever you know the unfortunate encounter you have um, so yeah this is actually quite suitable right like to the situation we might talk about you know with your close person right? not, not just spouse but family right parents or children they are very close to you and of course that means every word is going into the heart not just outside because if you talk to strangers I want to say something you won't care because why would you you won't you're not living with them you're not facing them every day <clears throat> of course this context of this clause because we talked about it last week so we can extrapolate it a little bit the clause itself talks about you know gossips or opinions or you know whatever information you get you know, close to you uh, um not necessarily good. I'm not saying that you should doubt, but you should always keep calm and cool-headed, access the situation before you allowing yourself to jump 100% into it. Um, always, always uh, be, um, always use the teaching of the sages as a standard. Uh, you know what would Buddha do in this case? If we don't understand, we read the Buddha story, understand his action a bit more. You know, what did he do in many situations when people being mean to him or, you know, humiliate him or or this uh, one of his disciples or one of the great masters when they were young, what did they do? You know, what, what kind of situation they encountered? 
right? We talk about role model as well. When we talk about role models, what are we role modeling after? It helps a little bit when you look at someone else doing like that, like taking an approach of a difficult situation differently from what common people usually would. You know, normal people will usually be angry, retaliate, you know, and you know, might not be wrong lawfully, but you know, does it really help the situation? Does it really improve the situation? And in contrast, look at people like, uh, like I don't have a real life example, but um, I don't have a specific case in my mind anyway. But what, but like you know, I don't want to make it too shallow. Um, okay, let's see what um, Melinda could feed us with. I feel the more my force to encourage me to better my relationship. I feel it's like, ah okay. I force the English and better my relationship. Okay. Oh. It's, um, I don't have the context, so I can't just give you, like, oh, yeah, you can do this and that. But, but, relationship, right? We're, we're not talking, let's not detract too far from it, okay? The point we're trying to say here is, um, always put your um, cons- uh, teachings and understanding. Uh, understanding based on the teaching of the sages. Don't um, don't get swayed by emotion purely. The way you can do that is give yourself a bit of space to look at it from a different perspective. Not too close to the case at hand if you can help it. So that you have a bit of a you know get rid of all that you know emotional the the, the hormone stuff. Once that phase is out, you can look at it more clearly, more objectively. Maybe it will help uh, you to find an answer, right? Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it there. To favor the new and forget the old, that's the topic today. Forsaking old friends, wasting money on needless new items. DC fully speak what one contradicts, what contradicts one's high in order to manipulate others. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> mm. Remember, it's not saying that you shouldn't have a new friend. It's just saying that when you have a, you know, old friend who really, really helps you, who really, you know, cares about you, like a good friend, always remember they're good. You know, always remember um, their kindness. It does not negate. Uh, like new friends should not negate it. Or in your in case like what Melinda mentioned foster mom or uh, original mom uh, a birth mom it's everyone has different condition to one another right each of these should be cherished properly of course you only have so much energy right of course you have to deal with what you have to deal with your family members so whether we should, whether you know it's um, old or new based on you know how much that person has done for you right and if they are really like good caring about you and they actually help you a lot always remember their kindness and uh, keep in contact you know while you can still engage in your new you know circle because everyone needs a refresher sometimes different perspective so yeah in this case is just saying that oh yeah because new friends are more fun or maybe they have more um, you know benefits you have you know then you might forget your old friends or you forget your um, previous group of people. Um, why do we want to do that? You know, why can't we just like you know move on and stuff like that? Because everyone uh, has um, everyone is living in a society, right? And we have people helping us time to time to pull us out of whatever situation we're in. Uh, that should not be uh, forgotten. It should always be remembered. And always trying to find a way to express the gratitude. If they need help, you can, you should be always ready to help. That's how it works, right? That's how true friendship works. You know? um, kindness, honesty, loyalty, right? And only then you can, you know, actually attract the right kind of people in your life, right? Because you don't forsake your old friends. 
uh, just you know you know for your old friends for something new and fresh something new and fresh would go away right but those long lasting relationships you know either between friendships or spouses between parents and child children those things are they're not exciting all the time they won't be you were new friends that you met it's only excited for a while once that condition is up time's up it, it will still go away right? you will become old friends so to speak so so always you know cherish the few rather than going for the numbers and how many people I meet how many people I make friends with it's, it's meaningless what's more meaningful is how how um, well how good the foundation is in this relationship how do we help each other grow in our life would this person help speak the truth about you you know maybe they saw you off uh, strain in a different path which is quite bad for your life uh, and they will pull you back Confucius men say there are three types of good friends, three types, three types of negative friends, right? Kongzi uh, Liu, Liu Zhongpenyu. I forgot the Chinese one, and one of them is they will correct your name, they will correct your mistakes if you uh, made it. Confucius have uh, six kind of um, uh, friends. One if uh, good friends, three kinds. Bad friends, three kinds, right? One is the honest friend. One is the uh, knowledgeable or wise friend. People who seen a lot, understand a lot. Jing Guo Si Mian, Liu Zhi is honest friend. One is the uh, knowledgeable friends. Um, one is what is Liang? Oh, so hard to understand. Oh my god, my classic Chinese is already gone. It's been a while. It's not that hard. But I, I forgot. Oh my god. Yo zhi, yo liang, yo duo wen, yi yi, yo pian bi, yo shan ro, yo bian ning, sun yi. Okay. Nah, this is not helping me. I forgot what title I was to talk about it. You know, when Bo Cheng De used to be, um, when he was, uh, when he was a lay person, talk about this before uh, basically yeah you the way you make friends right and the one they want to have a long lasting friendship on is those who are honest that means they will um, help you they don't mean words they stay in your face tell you that it's not right mate they don't you know they don't they don't have two face syndrome and uh, the other one is they are very knowledgeable they heard a lot, they understand a lot. That means they've seen stuff wider than normal people would, more perspective. And uh, it's very important to have friends like that. It helps you to open up you know, your world, your perspective, so that you don't get stuck in the same loop. Become a you know very narrow-minded person. Uh, and someone who is you know, or trustworthy. Man, what he said, you know, what she said. Her word, his or her word is um, worth, you know, worth the goal. Basically, what what he or she say will always be realized. You know, never, uh, never fail to make promise. You know, never fail to meet the promises they made. So, what about the three um, friends we need to stay away from? Three kind of people. One is. Um, someone who likes to do a double face, you know, one foot in one group they do this, in the other group they do the other stuff. So they are not like one hearted. They always <coughs> kind of like split up personalities because they uh, they trying to all they get all they did is trying to benefit themselves, not really being honest, right? Not being true to themselves. So this kind of people is very hard to deal with. Uh, you don't know what what's underneath the facade. Um, the other one is 
uh, people who like to criticize other people behind their back. So in the front, they all smiley and very nice and sweet talker, and then in the back, they criticize um, one of them. Uh, not being honest about you know, what's wrong. And the last one is um, Yeah, translation is really bad. Everything is so similar. Um, yeah, I don't understand what is this. <sighs> Sorry guys, today is not my day. I'm I'm burned. I'm burned out. Um, Pian Ning, Pian Ning, Pian Ning. Oh my God. So Pian 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 P San Ro Pian Ning. This is just a uh, spontaneous stuff. Uh, I I I I thrown out from my memory when I have the Chinese easy way class. They talk about this. Um, basically, those people who are uh, two-faced, who likes to talk behind people's back, uh, who you know plot schemes a lot, we should avoid. You know, even though it might be fun and amazing uh, when you know, hang out with them, they do some fun stuff, but don't be fooled by it. So basically. Uh, when things go serious and really need help, then maybe this person might not be there. Um, anyway, let's think. It can reply, it can, it also refers to many things. New stuff you bought, you forgot about the old stuff you have, you know, properties, um, relationships, right? Properties, do not uh, forget about parents when you, you know, in the new environment far away from them they are your roots always remember you to take care of your roots no matter how far you reach how high you climb you need to be ground feeling grounded you need to go back to those people who actually see you as who you are not what you what your status is yeah the last one you speak you don't speak from your heart. And you only speak on the surface. And this kind of people is very hard to deal with, uh, and and, and it, 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 it's very um. They, you can't make friends with these people. Um, it's it's not something you, you want to have in your life. Um, deceitfully speak, what contradicts one in all the many players? Yeah, scheming. Uh, Oh, okay, I wrote a better translation, by the way. Uh, let me just show you. It's really easy. Yes. Can you guys see it? Confused, yes. Okay, so, yeah, three types of negative friends, three types of positive friends. So, three types of negative friends, Sun Yo. So, what kind of Sun Yo? What, what kind of um, uh, unruly, unruly crowd you should avoid you know, as to make it friends with? First one is Chanei Arno Feng Shen, basically, you know, kiss people's boots, lick people's boots, um, you know, boot licker, and they have no principle in their dealings. They have no line, there's no bottom lines in their dealings. If, you know, we can reflect on ourselves as well, right? We can't just say, oh, this is that person. We, we look at ourselves because we, are, we have many aspects. Sometimes we might go towards that path, so be very careful. The only reason why would one would want to be this kind of person is they're trying to get something out of this relationship, you know, in a way of they're trying to you know, trying to get something, gain something instead of generally connect with people, you know, as a companion in life and companion, you know, like, hey mate, like you know, have a good friend, right? Just get through life better, and it, it's something you, you try to gain, like. Uh, try to gain in return. Um, it's the first type of uh, friend you should stay away. People who should stay away. It's, it takes time to see the real face, though. It's not that easy. The second one is your shan ro. That means, yeah, say one thing and then do another thing. So the say one thing in the say one thing in front of others and do entirely opposite stuff in in the back. Not. Um, not getting the um, right and wrong properly. They uh, might you know, cut some contents from, from, the inf from the information and they 
give you a falsified information or, or, or one piece of the entire picture, uh, trying to lure you into that direction so that you can get more uh, support and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So what's the positive, uh, positive um, contradiction? I mean, what is the positive example against this one is when you say something, you you be very careful. If you can't do it, just don't say. It. Just do it first. If you can do it, only then you say. It. So people will take your word, you know, for real, and they actually cherish your word because it helps them. Because you actually do what you say, practice what you preach. The last one is being ning, So basically, it's like chui niu lah in Chinese. It's basically like um. Crap talker, they just talk crap. You know, like they they talk, they talk, they talk big. They talk like, oh yeah, I got this, uh, you know, uh, CEO from that person. You come into uh, my house and have a drink. We're gonna do big business. You know, you want to do that. I think you've seen a lot of that in the, in the movies. But in real life, they have people like that, of course. And um, and uh, you know, like, I know this person. I know that person. Uh, and uh, they're trying to use that to inflate their egos and stuff. Um, and when you were next to them, you will feel like, you know, like, why are they prickles on my skin? You know, it, it does not feel natural. It's very fake. So avoid this. Yeah, don't be avoid this personality as well. If you find yourself going towards that direction, that's a better word. Uh, what other people did, you don't know. But the way you can know is look into yourself. Have I ever used that kind of? Mentality when I deal with people. Uh, that's when you understand. Okay, yeah, I need to step back and you know reassess. You know, be back to my basics. Well, who really matters? Who's my? Uh, who really really cares? You know, I need to take a cool-headed assessment before you move on with any relationships or whatever kind of relationships. Okay. Yeah, the good one, uh, just to emphasize, right? It helps. Is zi, you zi. So people who has nothing to hide, put their heart up to their sleeves. They have nothing cooking underneath. It's what you see is what you get. You know, you there's no machination. There's no plotting. And very straightforward, very very easy to deal with, and very comfortable to be with because they have nothing to hide and you just have a good time and yeah, that's a good friend. The other one is Yu Liang. So in this case, this is a much better translation. The people who can be trusted, dependable. So first one is uh, straight, you know, straightforward, upright. They don't they don't hide. They don't scheme. Second one is person who is very sincere, who is ge- um, generous, who is reliable, will always be there for you. Uh, and they don't usually try to do any unnecessary action. You know, they just go about their day, say hi, and then move on with their life. They don't try to, you know, lure you out to do this and do that. It's just maybe a very simple, you know, uh, hangout. But they don't do anything crazy stuff like that. They're very dealing with them is like drinking water. You may not notice anything when you're drinking it, but when you're actually thirsty, then you realize water is actually helpful. You know, there's a saying that the um, the the friendship between cultivated people, good people, you know, kind people, is like water. Their relationship is like water, very peaceful, harmonious, very mundane, like water. Right? There's nothing exciting in it. But when you're actually at the brink of death, you actually need it. If everything else falls apart, right? Other than oxygen, water is number two, and then food. So that's how important water is. But it's boring, of course. Um, <clears throat> so this is what I mean by you know, old friends. What they mean by old friends? People that stay around forever for life. You know? So when you really falls apart. 
you have issues and troubles, they will be there. They can actually help you without saying anything. So there's a historical historical story, um, Bai Yi Song Jiu, you know, that means uh, someone who's from a high level position sending his old mates in the, you know, in the more impoverished economic condition. Why? Because they might be friends when they were students. But in China, you have to, there's only one way to be really powerful and rich, other than becoming a merchant. But as a government official, you're powerful and rich. So how do you do is you go through exam, imperial examination, and you pass, pass, pass. So this one might already pass a lot, and uh, or maybe he has a very good condition. He was promoted as one of the high government officials, and he has a friend who was his uh, classmate, but maybe he didn't manage to get any appointments. But their friendship still remains because what defines their friendship is not you know, how many Rolex they have, how many uh, 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 swear, uh, how, how cool they are. It's heart to heart. You know, they just see each other as they are, no matter how powerful or how poor they are. Uh, it does not matter. Those are externals. And they didn't have anything else to get from one another as well. That means they don't try to climb up social ladder through one another. So this kind of friendship is the most precious, comfortable because they're not trying to leech off one another or something. Right? So this is the most genuine uh, friendship. <coughs> and then the last one is Yiyo San. Uh, I'll get back to you on Melinda very soon. Uh, Yiyo San is Yu Duo Wen. So what is this? So people who have seen the world, seen a lot. Right. Something you don't know when you're stuck in that one circle, one environment. Someone who actually seen the world, seen through, usually their older friends or maybe they will have a more experience with people when they were, when they were young because their parents keep moving around. They have more experience with people. So these are the people we need to um, really make friends with and actually take their words seriously and actually understand. You do when yeah. And they will help you to see why how tough to be engaged in this situation because they have encountered a lot more. Alright, that's it. May the merits and virtues adorn the Buddha's pure land. We pay the four kinds of kindness above and relieve the sufferings of those in the three paths below. May those who see and hear of this all bring forth the heart of understanding and compassion and leave the teaching for the rest of this life, then be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. A mi to for 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 A mi for a me to for a me to for a me to for all right may you guys be happy may you guys be blessed with wisdom and joy may you guys be endure all the pain and suffering so that you may see a bigger world out there and be more compassionate right Thank you. Take your care, taking good care of yourself and your family and your friends. Amitabha bless you. Come back there. Thank you. Okay.